About two years ago I wrote about a crowdfunding campaign to create affordable, green, modular, and community-centric housing, GeoShip. Now that dream has manifested in an actual physical prototype, and the company has raised over $1.5 million, taken over 500 pre-orders, and is aiming at mass production in two to four years. What's taking so long? We're kind of innovating at three different levels at one time, which is a little unusual, says CEO Morgan Beershank in a recent Tech First podcast. We're developing a material science, and a product design, and the manufacturing technology, kind of all at once. We're in a tough spot for housing right now. Prices have soared during the pandemic, and now just as the sticker tax for homes start to drop, high inflation is making them less affordable. Plus, the homes that we traditionally make have a huge carbon footprint, aren't particularly green in materials or lifetime energy consumption, and serve more to separate and delineate people than bring them together. GeoShip's audacious vision is to fix all of those problems with a carbon-neutral non-polluting building material, bioceramic, that can be manufactured in local micro-factories close to where people need them, assembled simply and cheaply by homeowners themselves, placed in conjunction with addition. Absolutely. But that doesn't mean impossible. It starts with the material, which GeoShip has spent years perfecting. What we're building is ceramic domes that are 100% non-toxic, Shank says. So there's no wood, there's no metal, there's no concrete, there's no petrochemicals. The frame is ceramic, the exterior is ceramic, and the interior is ceramic, and it's filled with a healthy insulation material that could be wool or a cellular ceramic. The chemically bonded ceramic the company is using, he says, is a new family of materials that is related to geopolymers. It's like a ceramic in that it's highly crystalline, but like a cement in that it's water activated. The thick walls are highly insulating, don't burn, don't rust, and don't rot, 